the cream of the crop nobody does it better what's good youtube you didn't think we're done with the after wano series did you oh my god welcome to the dlc grab your snacks internet because today we're talking about trafalgar d water law law is in a very peculiar spot where he is stuck between a rock and a hard place because his fate has been up in the air for a very very long time ever since the ending of Dress Rosa where there have been death flags waving all around him with Doflamingo mentioning that Law's devil fruit is considered the ultimate devil fruit because it can perform the immortality surgery on a person but it is of course at the cost of the user's life ever since this moment oda has basically put a timer on law's life so you better count your fucking days law but in all seriousness though it is a matter of when and not if in the terms of law's death and his untimely demise which many people have believed or speculated it will be at the hands of kaido during the war in onigashima and because this entire battle or well situation originated back in punk hazard because of law wanting to take down Kaido and his operation and because of his strong connection with Doflamingo and Corazon many believe that Law's story is complete with the fall of Doflamingo and there's really not much else for his character to do besides perform the immortality surgery and end up dying and Oda did say that he wants Wano War to be a lot larger than Marine Ford War or at least he he warned us that this war is gonna be bigger than the Marine Ford War it's gonna look like baby cakes or whatever whatever things he said but what he's trying to say is the war is going to be a lot more impactful than marine ford war and while a marine ford war had two major figures die and that was ace and whitebeard and for this war to be bigger well another yonko and another fan favorite character should die by the end of wano and some people are saying it's going to be kaido and trafalgar law and with hawkins doing a prediction stating that a certain man only has one percent of living until the next day many believe that he's talking about law it could be about drake which would be funny because Drake ends up replying like a oh, 1% sucks to be that guy and it would be quite ironic if the person was actually Drake. It could also be Luffy but he already did Luffy's fortunes but that shouldn't stop the possibility of it being Luffy because we know from Hawkins that he has tried to predict Luffy's fate many 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 times back in Marine Ford War. He kept trying to see when Luffy's percentage will reach zero but it never did. So with the current situation going on at Onigashima, it's possible that Hawkins is just doing another prediction for Luffy. But many believe that he's actually doing it for Law because of their connection through all of Wano. Because every time Hawkins was involved in a fight, it was usually against another member of the worst generation. And most particularly Law. He, he was gunning out for Law for majority of Wano. Ever since he noticed that Law was in there, he has been hunting him down non-stop. And Law was the one who defeated him and escaped. So Hawkins does probably have a vendetta against him. Unless Law took Hawkins' heart and is manipulating. And Law is no stranger to manipulation or this kind of tactic. But if it is about Law, then that just further proves the point that Law will meet his end at the land of Wano Kuni. And unfortunately for Law, the way everything is set up, it's either Law survives and dies another day, or he dies in Wano, because he is the one who broke the gears and started the whole Yonko saga in the new world. And although his death would be very impactful and sad, but there is a possibility that Law could actually survive Wano and live to die another day. And I'm here to tell you those reasons. One of them is a character aspect about Law that many people seem to overlook and that is his interest in the will of D. Many believe that Law's story is over and he doesn't really have much to offer but that isn't actually true. He does have a lot of interest in the will of D and he kind of really wants to know what's the meaning behind it and because of his active interest in the will of D and wanting to figure out what exactly it is and why they are the enemies to the celestial dragons I feel that Law should at least deserve the opportunity to learn about that before he meets his demise but also law has a second secret name and that is water his full name being trafalgar d water law and he never really specified why the name water was supposed to be hidden or why it's a secret name and i feel that's another aspect to a story we should figure out because we know that the d is obviously silent or well a hidden secret but why exactly is the name water a secret what's going on with that family tree and what the possible connection is between the d and the water family i do not think that oda would bring up this fact about water being hidden and not bring it up or explain it later on because that would just be very un-Oda-like. 
and be such a major tease for us fans. But that is not all, there is also another thing that has been overlooked and that is Law's Vengeance. Many people forget that Law's Vendetta is not only against the Don Quixote family, but it's also against the world government for what they did about the lead incident, the white lead incident to be exact. And how they dealt with the situation by killing all his family and friend and the entire island. So Law in fact does despise the world government and will do anything to see them fall due to their negligence of his country. And the lies they spread, Law has first-hand experience of how dangerous and corrupt the world government can. But there is also another plotline about Luffy and Law that many people overlook as well, but even me who didn't even take it seriously until recent events, and that is Fujitora capturing their head so he's allowed in the navy base. Now at first I didn't really believe it, in fact I thought it was just a joke and that Fujitora end up being back in the navy base regardless eventually. But with the end of Dressrosa and Sengoku telling Fujitora that yes you should just apologize to Akainu and he'll allow you back eventually, Fujitora said no I'd rather this and he would take the heads of both Law and Luffy so he'll be allowed back into a navy base. And then again in the reverie when Akainu was mad at Fujitora for entering the world government Mary Jo and he's like why is he allowed there I said he's not allowed in any navy base it seems like this plot is actually very serious and will come to play later on in the series most likely after Wano Country and I said this in a previous video that I do not think it'll just be Luffy and Blackbeard that enter Laugh Tail, but it'll be a group of pirates it'll be like a giant war surrounding the island of course the Blackbeard pirates and the Star Hats will be the ones on the island but everyone else will have their own battle going around around it and it's probably at this point that I wouldn't be surprised that after Luffy finds the secret of Laugh Tale, Fujitor comes in and soups and captures both Luffy and Law and takes them to Impel Down. Now not only would I like this to happen because it would be a very chaotic situation and not only would it give relevance to Fujitora's plotline but it would be super hilarious to have Law in the exact same jail cell as Doflamingo. And this situation could be used to reintroduce characters like Bond, Clay, Doflamingo and Magellan. And with things spiraling out of control especially after the events of Wano it seems like the whole world is eventually going to be going into a giant world war especially after Laugh Tale has been found and the One Piece has been found as stated by Whitebeard that whoever finds it there will be a war that will compass the entire world even Odin said that himself so we're expecting a giant war to happen very soon with the fall of one or two Yonko if two Yonko don't fall in Wano then the next will fall right after this arc as well as the world government heading into their cleansing and many pirates such as Blackbeard and Shanks are finally heading into action it seems that we are heading into a new world of chaos. Now back to Law because the question is really who will Law use the immortality surgery on? Many people have speculated it'd be Luffy because of how close they are. Luffy is a D member and Law does acknowledge that Ds will cause a storm and he does have an active interest in the D and he does trust Luffy a lot so him doing the immortality surgery on Luffy does make a bit of sense but it could be other characters. It could be Chopper because they're both <laughs> doctors. It could be Beppo his longtime best friend or it could be a random kid that he meets along the journey. Maybe even diseased and he will do what Corazon did for him and save this child's life. I think would be a very poetic turn of events for Law and his character and things will come full circle. Although it's between that or Luffy being the ones he uses the immortality surgery I'm favoring in the most. Obviously these are just speculations and theories so don't come at me I'm sorry I'm just thinking out loud. But at the end of the day Law could very much die at the end of Wano by saving Luffy one final time similar to his act back in Marine Ford War. Being a nice little callback to that moment in Marine Ford War and Luffy is a D as well and Law does place all his trust and hope in Luffy and it would be a befitting end to Law's story whether it be in Wano or in the final war of the series. But on the chance that Law does survive Wano, I guess we should talk about what his bounty would be after the events. I think a bounty of 1 billion flat would be rather fitting and be another callback to his past when they wanted to sell his devil fruit the op op fruit for 1 billion berry. But that's just for little easter egg moments. I think a bounty of 1 billion or higher would be very fitting for his character especially if a Yonko or maybe two fall at the end of one. Also I think that Law is a prime candidate to get a cover story focused on him. In the case he doesn't tag along with the Straw Hats after Wano, the other prime candidate being Carrot but that's for another video. But that's the video guys. I really want to talk about Law and his character and what will happen to him and what his fate will be after Wano. Many people assume that he will die at the battle of Onigashima and probably rescue Luffy by doing the immortality surgery on him. 
but it's more of a matter of when and not if Law will meet his demise. But I want to take my own spin on things and talk about Law because many people think that his story is over. I do not think that, of course, there are more things that could be explored and expanded upon post Wano. I believe there are still some things that could be explored with Law's character post Wano. But put down in the comments what you guys think. Do you think Law will die in Wano? Do you think he'll die later? Do you even think he's gonna die at all? Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to rate the video, subscribe, and click the bell icon to stay notified. Hope you guys have a good day and a good night. Also, follow me on twitch.tv forward slash fly flizzy and my Twitter fly underscore flizzy for updates on what I post and all that fun stuff. But I hope you guys have a good day and a good night. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Toodles!